Welcome to a quick YouTube video about a specific type of film and we're talking about the Kodak T-Max 100. The Kodak T-Max 100 uh, was a film that was a few months ago out of stock because Kodak had some production issues. Now they fixed that and it got back in stock at my favorite camera store in Zurich. And uh, I was curious about it so I bought one roll. And when I was shooting with Valerie, um, she, uh, she didn't know exactly what I was doing because I was shooting analog and she never had such a shooting before. And uh, I was shooting on my Mamiya RC67 Pro 2. And um, I used my go-to film, the Ilford FP4 Plus. And then I was curious and I asked her if she is willing to try out that kind of film but she didn't really knew what I was talking actually about. So we did and uh, the light setup was pretty simple. It was uh, as, uh, from a uh, 45 angle above her in front. It was uh, an Elinchrome Octa box, 100 centimeter, a deep Octa and um, with a seamless backdrop and that was it with the uh, 110 millimeter lens on the Mamiya. And when I got back to results I was really surprised, I didn't expect that. And if we look here now at the results, uh, it's, it's simply amazing if you look at the sharpness, the lens was wide open more or less. Um, uh, if you look at the contrast, I pushed them a bit while I was scanning, uh, I admit that, uh, the way I like it. But I just love the image, it worked out with that outfit, with her, uh, with her hair, with her uh, face and, and so on, eyebrows and eyes and um, with her hair. It's simply amazing. Um, so what's the simple message of that short video? It's basically try out new film. Um, I know you should stick to a certain type of film for a while and then you know the cons and pros for, uh, for that film and you know how to handle it, how to light meter it and so on. But it's so much fun just to discover a new type of film again and uh, I did that with the T-Max 100 and I certainly will use it again because I, I bought already five more film rolls and um, use it for the next time shooting and um, maybe I take the camera with me and film, uh, film a bit behind the scenes or uh, do another video of my experience with it. So that's basically the message. Go out, shoot, try out new film, stick with your film uh, that you normally use but also try out new film. Keep shooting and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.